Hi friends, my name is Magdalen and I hope you're doing well. I studied computer science and entrepreneurship at the University of Otago and I just finished my degree. If you are considering studying computer science at university or are currently studying it, then here's some advice for you. The first tip is to learn a new skill by doing a project. Rather than just learning a new skill through doing an online course, it's actually more effective to do so by concurrently doing a project while going through an online course. This is because if you were to just do an online course, you're just passively feeding yourself with the information. But if you were to apply those skills to a natural project, it forces you to think actively about it and also source out other supplementary material. Plus, you get to add a project to your portfolio. The second tip is to build up your portfolio. As I mentioned in my previous video on things that I wish I knew before studying computer science, what you learn in CS is very theoretical, so it's very important to have a portfolio of projects which showcase the skills that you have. It's great to do projects in a range of different areas like design, front-end, back-end, architecture, etc. It's also good if you can use multiple languages and frameworks, and if you know which companies you want to apply for, then try to see what tech stack they use and try to do a project using that tech stack. In some cases, a good portfolio is even better than excellent grades, so it's very important and you can start from as early as year one. The third tip is to have a GitHub account. Having a GitHub account is pretty much a must if you want to apply for technical roles, and most of the time, you're also encouraged to leave your GitHub profile link in your application for technical roles. GitHub is a great place for you to showcase your technical projects and also browse other people's public repositories for inspiration. You can even make your own website on GitHub and host it on the platform using GitHub pages. Let me know if you want me to make a tutorial on how to do that, and I'll be more than happy to do so. The fourth tip is to practice your problem solving skills. Again, as I mentioned in my previous video, computer science is all about problem solving and it's definitely a skill that can be learned. When you apply for internships and jobs, most of the time you will be given a technical test to complete. And this test usually covers things like data structures and algorithms, networking, databases, and just typical CS fundamentals. I've learned from experience that simply relying on your labs and assignments is definitely insufficient to train your problem solving skills, so a lot of practice outside of uni is required. Some resources that I recommend are LeetCode, HackerRank, and Cracking the Coding Interview. There are also a lot of free online resources on YouTube. The fifth tip is to apply for internships. Internships are a great way for you to gain work experience, learn new skills, and also get paid at the same time. If you're not sure about what you want to do after graduation, you could always do internships in a range of different areas like front-end, back-end, DevOps, product, etc. For some companies, your internship can lead to a return offer for a graduate role if you performed well in your internship. In New Zealand, some programs to check out are Summer of Tech and the Microsoft Student Accelerator program. Tip number six is to join clubs and hackathons. If your uni has any tech-related clubs, then be sure to join them. They're a great place for you to meet other people studying the same subject as you, and also they usually have a lot of very helpful events like career events, um, tech company visits, study sessions, so yeah, definitely a great place to hang out. Now, I'm definitely biased when I say this because I used to be part of the committee, but if you're at Otago Uni, then definitely check out the Otago Computer Science Society and Comp Girls Otago. If you're at Auckland Uni, then check out Devs. I'm not affiliated with Devs in any way and they definitely did not make me say this, but I just want to feature it because they have a lot of very, very cool events. I was based in Dunedin, but I was able to attend some of their online events and I was very impressed with the quality. They usually record their events as well, so I've included the link to their YouTube channel in my description box. Hackathons are also another great thing to join because you get to meet other new people, work on a project together, learn new skills and then add that project to your portfolio. And also, sometimes there could be companies scouting for talent there. Tip number seven is to do past year papers. I've learned that the most effective way to prepare for university exams is to do past year papers. Unlike high school exams, where the exams are usually written by an external examination board like NZQA, in university, the exams are written by your actual lecturers. So they know what's going to be in the exam and they don't want to fail you. 
Doing lots of past year papers will give you a very good idea of what to expect in your exam and they usually reuse questions. The final tip is to get help when you're stuck. If you feel like you've worked on a problem or a bug for long enough, then definitely don't be afraid to ask for help. You could ask your lecturer, discuss with your classmates, or even Google your problem. No, especially Google your problem. If you get a bug, you could even just copy and paste your error message into the search field of Google, and it will give you a lot of results of people who also had the exact same bug. So yes, that's definitely a hack. So yeah, that's all my advice I have for computer science students. Let me know in the comments below if you resonated with any of these or if you have any video ideas for me. My next video will be on my Otago University computer science degree, so stay tuned for that. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And if you found this video helpful, then please like, comment, and share. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!